Good morning. We are learning about leads today, and the lead that we are going to be focusing on is the girl with the paintbrush lead. Painting a picture is really what it means. Okay, we're going to learn how to paint a picture as our introduction. Okay. Okay. So when you paint a picture with your writing, what you want to do is you want to be as descriptive as possible. It's important that you describe everything that's going on, all right? Because what you want to do is you want to get your reader to picture your story in their mind. You want your reader to read your story and have no questions about where this story is taking place and what is going on. And the way to do that is you want to use many sensory words, okay? All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to look at my introduction. We're going to brainstorm some sensory words, and then we're going to rewrite it by painting a picture. So my story is about two girls who are friends, and the beginning part of the story, they're going to be going to school. So let's see what I've written so far. Sam Keating came out of her house at the corner waiting for her like always was her, was her, ooh, that's a word, her friend June Kramer. They walked to school the day together every day. Today was no different. All right. This is what I'm going to ask myself, right? What I want to do is I need to brainstorm some sensory words about this. So let's look here. What is my character going to see when she's walking to school? What is she going to smell? What is she going to feel? What is she going to hear? This is the kind of picture that you want to paint. You know, if you, if your reader was in the story, what would they see, smell, feel, or hear? We have to brainstorm some of these things. I'd like you to do that right now. Brainstorm some things that you would see, smell, feel, and hear on your way to school in the morning. Do that on a separate piece of paper and pause the video. All right, so you can see that I put down a bunch of things that I thought I could see, smell, feel, or hear on my way walking to school. I wonder if some of you put the same things that I did. And there are probably a billion things that I could write down right now. I am going to be satisfied with this and then continue on. All right, so there it is. Here's our beginning of the story. So we're going to try and put some more sensory details in there. All right, so one of the things that I wrote down was about the sun. Actually, I put it right down here. Thank you to my little house at the corner, waiting for her like always was her friend Julie. So just look at that first line that I made right there. The sun flickered through the trees and the wind blew on her face. I'm actually not going to put that there. Actually, I'm going to put this there. I like it better right up there. Sam Kinney came out of her house, the sun flickered through the trees, and the wind blew on her face. Now one, I'm going to add a little bit more to this as well. It was a magnificent. All right, so you can see now I've changed my introduction to a whole different paragraph here. I have sensory details here, here, here. You know, it was, I could probably say even more about this. Uh, let me see if I can add a little bit more. Maybe you have some suggestions what I can add, too. So I just added this second paragraph here. Today, Sam wore her brand new sweatshirt from her older brother's college. It said Rutgers in red letters right across the chest. The shirt was slightly oversized, which is exactly how Sam liked it. What I did here was I gave you a little bit more description about my character, and I described the scene. So hopefully my reader right now can sure exactly what is going on in my story. This little girl skipping down the street on a beautiful day wearing this oversized sweatshirt with red letters 
right? That is the point of this. You want to be able to describe a scene as your introduction. Use as many sensory details you, as you can here. All right? So let's just recap before we move on. All right, so when you write your introduction by painting a picture, here's your steps. One, brainstorm some sensory words. What are you going to see, feel, smell, or hear? Number two, rewrite or write your introductions by painting a picture. And three, make sure you you read your introduction to yourself. Make sure you have a clear picture in your mind. Go are you. Hoorah, hoorah, Rutgers rock. Red letter sweatshirt. That's what I was picturing in my mind. Good luck at choosing this lead strategy.